Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to CCXRC. Today is an exciting day because I've got the brand new CCXRC Baby Hippo Brass Axles. We come with the diff covers. Look at that. New stickers as well that are included for the 24th scale vehicles um, that I got from um, Spaz Prince, but it's through Bull Gear RC is where that connection was made. Uh, but yes, these weigh in at 64 grams for the pair without the hardware, that kind of stuff in them um but that's for both axles with the diff covers putting them on my scale 64 grams it has got my mofo truck now so heavy those uh weights down there i've got the um you can put brass steering links on it brass knuckles on it and um yeah i've got all the different brass parts brass servo mounts so you can get some actual weight on that lower end unsprung weight guys really cool i'm gonna take it up there i'm gonna run it and test it at uh reaction rc hobbies on their scx24 trail that they've got there of course but um one of the good thing about these guys is just fitment's really good on them that's one of the the tests that we've been doing with them um however that they work best with these diff covers that come with it i will say i tried to use some different ones and the way that the internal part of the axle is cut uh to hold the bearing versus um the brass diff covers varied a little bit between the diff covers so there was some where it made them have a gap uh between the diff covers because i was trying i'll show you guys something here um these are kind of some of my test fitment ones here that I've been doing testing with. Um, with the, the black brass ones on there, they seal up. These are the ones that come directly with it. This one, however, is a brass diff cover that I have separately sold that did not come with the axle. And there's a little bit of gap created there. Um, it's working fine so far, but um, I haven't really done driving tests with it, just powered it up. Uh, I haven't put wheels on it or gone in dirt. So that's one thing to know with the axle or the diff covers that come with it, it fits way better than these other ones that I had uh, on the site. So um, there is some interest in getting some actual all brass colored ones done. Um, these are the high clearance fur tech. Uh, well, these are their hybrid series of links where it's the SCX 10, uh, the C10 version up front with the deadbolt rears that they sell as a kit like that so you don't have to break apart different kits. Those are brass, and so this thing's getting kind of blinged out with a bunch of brass on it. Um, and that's my grasshopper build. That's something else I'm working on. But we're doing lots of testing uh, with them now at this point. This one I have footage of, runs great, and it's running the, um, the diff covers that came with it. And the fitment on these was good. So, um, yeah. It's just something to note, and uh, we're running the overdrive gears in the front on this one, and these are running the Injura uh, links on the bottom here. I had to buy two kits to do this. That's what I was talking about earlier, but um, it's running the high clearance ones, which I, I wanted on this particular truck for doing some confidence. So let's take it up to Reaction RC and show you guys how it does. All right, here we go up at Reaction RC at the Mofo RC ugly AF chassis here with his servo on it and I'm testing out the brass axles that I have and yeah no springs on the shocks it's running the mofo nano beast motor here brushless motor and the furitech lizard ESC and these are the power hobby trail warrior tires on there here we go No defined lines here. Nice slow crawl with this motor. Definitely smashing those Enjora shocks. These ones have the reservoir, fake reservoir on them. I have some that don't I'm gonna put on that I bought here at Reaction last week. Haven't installed them yet. Oh, the track has not been wet down, so it is not as tacky as normal. Which is good. It's different. There we slid right off that rock. Probably would have winched if I had a winch. But if I get the right approach, we can get it up there. Nice. Pull right over the top. Well, these tires do feel pretty good. I've been running it up here now for about 
10, 15 minutes. Overall, like and handling of it. Some cool lines up here at the new layout. The 24th scale, which are quite popular up here in Michigan, at least in the west side here. We have comps for them here every Thursday night. Can have a comp form at the Great Lakes Gauntlet as well. Coming up in September, if you're anywhere in the vicinity near Michigan within a few hours, it's worth coming up for. Pretty big event. Um, pretty pretty large scale. Lots of people attend it, and great trails. So it's at Walter RC Park. Definitely put it on your calendar. What dates, Jeff? September 16th and 17th. September 16th and 17th with a night crawl to end it. So you wanna have some lights on one of your rigs for sure. Oh, that was not a line. <laughs> Roll over. Even brass can't help a stupid line like that. this but it came from a different direction when I did. I don't know if I'm still gonna have the grip and the tires to get a big pop up there. It feels like I'm about to fall again. Try to reset it here. Move over a little, get a little different tire grip. That's pretty sketch because of the left tire arrangement. I got my two front tires hooked on. I think I'm okay. Oh, that's bad news. Bail. Get on the inside there and see if that'll eat or not. Oh, that's the worst pot possible. Now, the first run I'd started up here, we'll try that approach. It was an interesting endeavor. We hand to God at that. because you would not really get yourself up there easily. But I came around this way. Now still. That ledge is not forgiving. I might have just got lucky and had a good line earlier. I don't remember what it was, it just happened. Oh. That feels like it, there it was. And I walked it over here, that was the line. See it walking, bring it around the corner here. There it is. Drop off. Got overdrive in the front axle too. So when I built this, I took apart the build that I had because I kept snapping the uh, plastic uh, carrier hub, C hub, and it needed to be brass, but the problem is if you didn't have aluminum axles or brass axles, metal axles, it uh, didn't fit right. So you didn't get very much steering throw. I'm gonna work it over the top here if I can. There it went. So now I can use the brass knuckles that's what I broke, plastic knuckles. But I have the brass knuckles now. And with the amount of steering that this has, I am not breaking them. I am totally rubbing on the shock though with these lighter tires. Still, they handle good though. They're very grippy. So I think I need to invert my shocks. Would be something to help. Overall, it's handling awesome.
These tires are pretty good, the Trail Warriors. Mm -hmm. You sell these here, right? Got all the good hop ups, including a few of mine, huh? But, uh, this is where I get the Enjora stuff shocks, wheels, tires. Bodies, and now you sell painted bodies too, which is really cool for those of us that don't love to paint. Yeah, I sold two last Thursday. Yeah, one of them was to me. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's already being made. It's already on, I think. No, I put, I built the body, put the roll cage and stuff on. It uh, still has to go on the car, but yeah. Good. The what? I'm supposed to get more bodies today. Oh. All right, this is a crazy cool line on this too. Lots of ways to show off the flex on this uh, course. It's really cool. Just really good obstacles now. This has grown a lot since when we first came oh, yeah. here, the boys and I, and it was just a little L. Yeah. It's, a, it's really amazing what a playground these are for the SCX-24s now. Yeah. Well, you know, the first build was just not going to throw them together, but, you know, I just wanted to get it up and going. Yep. It was still good. It's still better oh, than yeah, yeah. most things you find just outside, at least around here. Hey, this truck will actually do the rope. My purple scythe, I've got a little toe in on the front and it cannot, <laughs> it just sucks the rope under it, kills it. Let's see if I can make it over this rock somehow here. There's that, you can feel the weight down low with the brass. It feels really good. Don't miss the shock springs at all because of the, the speed we're crawling for these. It doesn't really seem necessary. Right. Because they're not really using, utilizing suspension for a whole lot. There might be a few times where it'd be nice to have a little pushback, but I mean, overall having it just weighted down seems pretty awesome. Alrighty, overall guys, I like the chassis, how it's handling. I do have to still figure out something for the shocks. Uh, I did have to put that one back on because it had unthreaded down here at the bottom. It unthreaded um, and it's loosening itself up at the top here. But servo actually, this uh, servo beast works awesome. Uh, chassis handling great, feels good. And the tires really grippy. I, I really do like these. I know I, I like my scramblers, but these power hobbies would be probably a, a second choice for me. So if you're looking for something, I know uh, Dana really likes the uh, power hobby trail warriors. I know he runs some different foams in them, but he was saying uh, this past week how awesome they were. So this type of body, definitely. Um, I need to do some work on my J Concepts Creep because it's just so tall and wide that I hit gates with it. So I think I'm actually going to apply some heat and just kind of tuck it a little bit myself um, to be more like this uh, because there's definite advantage to this type of a body. But um, axles themselves, the brass axles handle great. Feels great having that weight down low there. Brass knuckles work really good paired up with the axles. Um, I would probably, I need to at some point swap out these out, put brass steering links in, and I have a brass uh, servo mount but um, I really like this mofo best servo mount ever um, especially with these longer style ones because it's adjustable right here so it's not brass but it's definitely worth having on here and uh, yeah apparently I don't have a screw on that I missed a screw when I was assembling so I got lucky that I didn't notice that when I was driving um, definitely wasn't moving because I was paying attention to a lot of the movements of the car, but uh, 
yeah, it's not really going anywhere with the left to right movement. So, um, yeah, overall, feels good. SCX24s, guys, these things are really capable when you uh, take the time to upgrade them and make them cool. And even better when you have a place like Reaction Hobbies here, Reaction RC Hobbies, to run them because uh, having this type of terrain to play on is super fun with these.